there's this Pixar theory, but what if we can connect all of Nintendo's franchises together? Is it even possible? Nintendo's franchises are more varied than Pixar series. We have to account for series like Splatoon and Xenoblade. And is it possible to create an entire timeline based off Nintendo? So, Nintendo, we'll be going over many Nintendo major IPs, all the major ones as well, okay? So, we're going to go over, of course, Mario, Pokemon, you know, Custom Robo, TV Robo, Starfy, you know. How does every Nintendo series fit into it? And I think we're going to have to, do, you know, stretch some logic here. This is an alternative universe. N- not of our own. And... This universe is far different than ours. At the very beginning of the timeline, line, we have Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is basically in medieval Japan. You know, there's dragons and stuff. Also, Golden Sun also takes around the same time as, you know, Fire Emblem. Both series are basically set in, like, the medieval, you know, era of humanity. So, this makes a lot of sense that these two series... Happen around the same time. The medieval time. So basically this is the medieval time of our alternate world. So the medieval time of our alternate world. As well. So humanity is us fighting over earth. Blah blah blah. Doing is typical. As well. Well. Also humanity had to contend with other races of creatures on the planet. As well. This is very apparent. When they have to deal with. Other races. But before that. Before humanity. Realizes that they have to deal with other creatures like Bowser. And Donkey Kong. Yoshi. As well. You know. Considering that there's dragons and fire emblem already. And golden sun as well. Humanity is full of strange animals and strange creatures. That roam the planet. And full of various kingdoms. Kingdoms and countries. Wait, scratch all that. Mario is on a... We'll we'll talk about Mario some other time later. But basically, right now, all of us know this this there to our earth. There are some weird creatures, but they're not too different. And then we modern... The earth Earth modernizes. Around 300 to 400, which is basically the equivalent to a modern times. Series like Pirate Wings... Wings... Series like F-Zero take place at the very end of the modern era of humanity. Punch Out takes place around the same time. And we're going to be giving specific times. So, first is Pirate Wings, which happens around 430. After humanity industrializes Pirate Wings and Punch Out, where humanity posts a massive boxing championship for everybody to see, and Will Mac becomes a very well-renowned humanity. No, well-renowned person as well. At around 380 to 390, the F-Zero timeline takes place. Where humanity's technology has advanced so much, we have hyperspeed cars as well. Also, wave, what's this made? And also, Wave Race takes place around this time as well. We're just going to put them here as well. But what about Nintendo's other IPs? Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Mario, and stuff. Okay. This is where where it gets crazy. See. As well. Well. So around around 350. The 2355. The Wii series takes place. I know they're supposed to be memes. But they're they're supposed to be people. What's it say? They're people. Okay. Yeah. Also, Ring Fit Adventure also takes place as well. And also, because there's aliens in the Nintendo universe, Dragox comes to Earth and basically, you know, fights as well. Then, around 400 to 420 years, TB Robo takes place. This is when AI and robots start to, you know, start to really pop off. And then, Custom Robo happens. This is when AI becomes so advanced... Vance, well, basically, they have become, become essentially like us. Also, Sin and Punishment takes place at the same time, and humanity starts to weave off. So, 
leave Earth around the same time. Also, we got to talk about Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus, okay. Kid Icarus takes place before. Takes place before. Let's just say, before, let's just say, you know, before Fire Emblem, you know, takes place. Kid Icarus, because it has to deal with the gods and stuff. We'll just be using, you know, the BC, you know. Around that time, Kid Icarus takes place so far long ago as well. Well, as Kid Icarus has to do with the gods and stuff. So as to say, the events of Kid Icarus happens far before as well. As Pit and Palutena basically watch over this new race that's spreading over the world with our humans as well. Yeah. Yeah. And now we'll talk about what happens with Nintendo's other IPs. So, we gotta go over Mario, Metroid, Zelda, and all of these others. So, around 500, a massive war happens, leaving Earth damaged severely. Okay, this causes humanity to go to various other planets. Okay, including invading other kingdoms. This explains why, like, there's not many humans in the Mario universe outside of the Metro Kingdom. It is because humanity leaves Earth and starts a space empire. But there's a massive war. Humans have to fight against aliens and other races to contend with. And this is when the timeline of Metroid comes in as well. Humanity and other races contend, contend with other group races as well. Humanity starts to realize that there are other races in the universe that are very, very vile, and we are not the only one. For example, Samus having a deal with Ridley and the Metroids. The whole entire Metroid universe takes place within this 100 year time span, where humanity is, gra is grappling against all of these other alien forces that want to dominate and rule the universe. Verse. But humanity enters a golden age for a little bit. So, into our timeline, line, Xenoblade takes place. Humanity has figured out the whole aging problem, which means humanity can keep their AIDS as whatever AIDS they want. Humans don't age anymore. It's, a, it's apparent with the Xenoblade series as well. Humanity also conquers another planet, which is very similar to Earth, which is the Pokemon world. Humanity first arrives on this planet. And basically just starts a new. Starts a new history and everything on this planet. They also take over several other universes as well. Around the same time, the entire the entirety of the Pokemon timeline takes place. Place. And Pokemon timeline is still ongoing as well. But back on Earth. On Earth. Earth. 12,000 years after the massive war that wiped humanity off the planet. Planet. Splatoon takes place. This is also when this, this is also around the same time that Pokemon takes place as well. You know, Pokemon takes place around the same time and Xenoblade as well. Well, as you know, characters like Pyra can be 500 years old and probably even older, you know, staying the same youthful state. You know, as well. Well, and humanity takes, you know, you know, takes it, uh, you know, takes it. But Pokemon, they have, a, they have a history that lasts over thousands of years. The whole contradictory of this is that Arceus created the Pokemon world. So that means, in this universe, Arceus had to create all of it, including Bowser, including, you know, Pokemon, including, you know, Palutena and Pit as well, which makes Arceus the god of this universe, the creator of this universe, as Arceus is the creator of the Pokemon universe. Heck, if you want to make a Pokemon, it could be a separate timeline, since it is made by Game Freak. But we're going to try to fit Pokemon into this timeline, so it makes, we're going to try to make it make sense. And no, we're not talking about Bayonetta, because Bayonetta is... A Sega franchise. But what about the Mario. But back on Earth. 12,000 years after the massive war. War. As well. Which also is the same time when the Pokemon series takes place. 
Splatoon on Earth takes place. The Earth's climate shifts so rapidly because of the nuclear war. It doesn't become like fallout, but the sea levels rise so much because of humanity and cause a mass extinction event, causing mammals to be almost completely extinct from Earth. That's until Mr. Grizz comes and brings back and reintroduces mammals back to Earth. This is the gateway to the Pikmin franchise. So in, over the course of 60 years, the human, the inklings and the mammals have a, have basically tried to take, mammals try to take back Earth. But Mr. Grizz really, he thinks he failed, but he actually did succeed. Seed secretly, as several mammal species, which were introduced from another planet, that were introduced to Earth. Both the inklings eventually because of the change in climate after 2,000 years go extinct. Rapid sifting tectonic plates and rapid, since humanity messed up Earth so much, much. Around this time, I around this same time, two games occur. This is the Kirby franchise, takes place at this time, time, as well. Kirby and the Star Warriors were able to. Our group of, you know, creatures that basically go and seek to create peace and happiness in the galaxy as well. Kirby is basically an entity that is created to basically, which is basically, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be positive and negative emotion. So Kirby is the latest reincarnation of this matter. Kirby, of course, basically, the humans... You know, and made the inklings had a seal effect on Elfless twice. Okay, and it was a very hard endeavor. As Fecto Elfless basically is the cause of this massive war that caused humanity to leave Earth. Fecto Elfless was more to basically crash pop style, crash another planet into Earth and take it over for him, for his own. Luckily, humanity and the inklings had the technology to seal Fecto Elfless as well. So, then Kirby finally kills Factor Elfless for good at the end of this timeline. This timeline takes like place over 100 years, as the mammals finally, in the form of the Beast Pack, finally takes place, finally takes over Earth, and kicks off the Inklings off the planet as well. And then we have the Pikmin series. Over thousands of years, over thousands of years, Earth recovers. Around 13,000 years later, to 70,500, year, no, 200, no, 600 years, because assuming that Armal and his race and the Corpites have found ways to live for hundreds of years, what does it say the Pikmin series takes place over a thousand years? Because Armal had to go from Pack of back to Earth, Hakate back to Earth, Hakate back to Earth, you know, which takes, unless Armal can travel at the speed of life, which I don't think he does, it's gonna take, it's gonna take, Hundreds of years for it's gonna take like 10 to 20 years for our model, you know, it, it will take like five to 10 years afterwards. Words. Rapid evolution takes place at the Pikmin as well. But what about the path that humanity still is on? Humanity managed to colonize several planets. It's one, the Pokemon universe, the Pokemon universe becomes very similar to Earth, with you, but un- unlike on Earth. Human this version of humanity manages to careless and love animal. A bunch of environmentalists basically decide to say, hey, there's all these weird elemental animals on this planet. And actually if you think about Vector Alphas and all the enemies from Mario and stuff can also be considered Pokemon as well. Well, but humanity has also stumbled upon another planet. Where only three established races exist on this planet. Of course we're talking about Nintendo's Mario series. So on 800, they land on the Mario planet, the Mushroom planet. Net. Well, humanity starts to colonize the Mario universe. Okay, is he? Let's call. Let's start the war. Let's before Mario was born. Let's the on 860 to 900. Red is the Mario series. Okay, Mario series takes place around this time. Time. As well, taking over this planet, you know, 
attempts to colonize this, this planet. The Pete and Mario and of course humanity attempting to colonize this planet, which is full of unique species and life forms. Bowser is the is the one that had had the big issue over this. Bowser does not like the fact that Mario is on this planet and declares war against the Mushroom Kingdom who has sided with Mario and attempts to destroy them as well. Mario is the Mario universe is stuck in a medieval era as well. And Mario and the humanity did not really bring any guns and stuff to this planet as well. But they do use power ups as well instead. And eventually and most of this, and Bowser is basically losing this war anyways and ha- and gives up on trying to take over the Muslim Kingdom and is now trying to take over the Flower Kingdom, a bordering kingdom. Them also there's also a theory that Zelda takes place at the same time, so and it's on the same planet as you know. So around the same time, the Zelda universe takes place. But the problem with Zelda is there's just three separate timelines for Zelda. So we're just using the Ocarina of Time and Zora's Mask timeline. That timeline happens around the same time. Also, series like Wario World, Luigi's Mansion, and Donkey Kong Country also happen around the same time in the Mario universe. Around the same time as well. So all of the Mario universe takes place in a span of 40 years as well. And also considering that humanity has solved the aging problem. Mario does not age throughout all of these events Mario takes. And also Mario and Bowser at the very end throughout the Mario Galaxy series. Please reset the universe as well. Yeah, I forgot. My, but what was the way that basically resets the universe, essentially, back to how it was, and this could cause a set. And actually, if you think about it, we said Mario is saying the universe. That's huge, actually. This causes massive ramifications as well, defeating Bowser for good and Bowser losing the war. For the universe as well. So Bowser loses the war for the universe. So. As well. At the same time Ganondorf and, and Wink are fighting as well. You know. Well. As well. And this is the next reincarnation. Of as well. The Zelda timeline. Actually Wink is not human. I think he's a different way. So the Zelda timeline. Mine. The Zelda timeline stretches over thousands of years. Years. And ends around zero. Well, as Zelda is in a medieval time. So, actually, Zelda, Link is not a human. So, he he is of the, you know, Hyrian race. So, over 10,000 years, basically, Gandalf and Wink and, and the incarnations of Wings fight, essentially, as well. But what about, is there any other Nintendo series that I forgot? So Nintendo has a lot more series that are in Smash Bros. First is Earthbound. So Earthbound happens right before the massive war. War. This is because of Gygus's influence. Friends. Though around 500, the Mother 3 happens when this when the massive war begins as well. People like Porky Mints are put into high power. Porky Mints Along with many other humans, have found immortality. Earthbound takes place around the same time as Punch Out, out as well, and Mother, and the first Mother does as well. So yeah, then we have Star Fox. Where well, does Star Fox fit in? That is the biggest question. There are no humans in Star Fox. I'm assuming that Star Fox takes place in the massive space wars as well. I'm assuming that Star Fox takes place far away the, 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 as well. As, as Kirby, you know, is gone, a new Space Force emerges as well. And that's when S- Star Fox takes place. And the Wyrat sister, the Wyrat crews as well. And also by the time that Splatoon went around, humanity is extinct on many planets except for the Pokemon planet. That's the only planet where Pokemon, where humanity is surviving, being, as well, 
well, as as many various attempts. And also they are surviving on the Mario planet as well. But now we're talking about other series. Advance Wars. Advance Wars also happens during the time of Mother Free. I know Mother Free that's, that's supposed to be the last of humanity, but Advance Wars leads up to this massive war that happens as well. This basically solidifies that humanity is going into a boiling point. Void, as countries go over and fight over the very last resources available as well. This makes a lot of sense as well. Then we have the legendary Starfy. The legendary Starfy takes place on Earth far after humanity got extinct and far after the Pikmin series. Starfy will take place. Starfy will oh actually Starfy will take place around the same time as Platoon. Soon as Starfy takes place mostly in the ocean. So Starfy alongside the Inklings have evolved essentially on Earth or the remnants of Earth. Then we also have Fossil Fighters, another one of Nintendo's lesser series. Fossil Fighters also takes place around the same time, time as Advanced Wars, as humanity has managed to revive dinosaurs from the dead and fight them in wars as well. Well, using them as well to fight. We also have other various other Nintendo franchises as well, including Endless Ocean. As well, but then we have Animal Crossing. Yes, I forgot about Animal Crossing. Another pla- another 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 planet, knit, knit, not too similar to ours. Humanity enters a planet full of sentient animals, and humanity atta- becomes at peace with the animal people, as well. But also. There was a few that Animal Crossing that hu- that Animal Crossing is sent out as a prison as a punishment for humanity. So around six hundred years to unknown, Animal Crossing takes place. Well, a plant not too similar to ours. We also we also introduce various animals and plants from Earth as well, including insects from Earth and animals from Earth. To you know, which also further destroys the ecosystems of Animal Crossing as well. And by around the same time, by around the same time, the time that the games actually takes place around eight hundred, around the same time that Mario takes place. Well, most of the four and father that most of the four and father that don't adapt are extinct, and the rest creatures remaining are animals that humans introduced onto the Animal Crossing world. So the rest remaining series as well. Okay. Then we have Super Smash Bros. Well, I can't really do anything about Super Smash Bros. Then we also have ARMS. ARMS takes place in the future as well. Well, humanity, it's around the same time where humanity starts to make body adjustment, starts to create body adjustments for themselves as well. This is when humanity starts to, you know, create, you know, wacky experimentations with the bodies. He's using body adjustments to beat up and punch people for as well. This lasts for a short 40 years as well as as well. Also Ice Climber takes place around Wave Race as well. Well, alongside Duck Hunt. Hunt. But it's also take place around the time of Ring Fit and Fit Fit we the Wii series and Ring Fit Adventure. So these series take place during like the modern times and take place during ni- until nineteen seventy or three seventy five as well. Well but but stuff like Eternal Doctors I have never played Steel Diver Takes place during the Mass of War as well. Takes place during the Mass of War as well. Well, it becomes a, such a boiling point as well that basically, basically humanity is forced to retreat. The remaining of uh, humanity, as explained in Xenoblade 2, starts to weave off. Which starts the Xenoblade timeline as well. Well, 
What about something like Style Tropics? Uh, I have never played Style Tropics, so I don't know anything about Style Tropics, so yeah. I told you we're not going to go over every single Nintendo IP. And also, Wonderful 101 is not a Nintendo IP as well. Something like Nintendo Ran, we're not going to count that, or Big Brain. Actually, Big Brain Academy and stuff, and Brain Aids. Brain Aids takes place basically outside a computer, so it's basically someone playing a math game. Just that simple. So, probably that takes place during the modern time. Where at schools, Brain Aids is often used for basically making humanity smarter. But what about stuff like Freaky Forms and Pusmo? Well, those, I can't really fit into the timeline as well. Well, say if it was something like Susie Striker or something like Paper Mario or the entire Zelda timeline. So really, this entire thing is very unrealistic. For example, Zelda has its own timeline. Splatoon and Pokemon have its own timeline as well. Well, Paul Mario has its own timeline as well. So I really take it serious as their own timeline and war and trying to connect them to each other as well. And really, if you think about it, this all doesn't make any sense. Sense. Why doesn't it make any sense? Well, Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It really, so, really shows that Nintendo is either an connected amount of timelines or, this, or one universe. Well, everybody's able to time travel as well. Well, and actually, if you think about it, Super Smash Bros. is the last game in this in this timeline. Around 500,000 years into the timeline, the battle for the universe begins. Vince. A, a, ma- a, a race madly recreate fighters and, car- and people from every single timeline. I don't know, throughout the past. Okay, and throughout thousands of years, Taboo, Mattahans, Gawim, and Darkon, all beings. Now, also, gods. As well, I know Smash Bros. is supposed to be like a representation of like an autistic kid's mind, but basically, the final war for the universe begins. begins. And, the, and all these characters are put into a battle as well. But that means we're going to have to fit in Sonic. And other series as well. Well, what to say for probably characters that don't exist in Smash Bros. in this timeline? It's just Nintendo characters. That would make a lot of sense because that means we'd have to fit into we have to fit in the Sonic universe as well. You know, we're going to have to fit in you know Final Fantasy somehow. We're going to have to fit in Persona Five somehow. Okay, and we're going to have to fit in. Street Fighter into the timeline. Street Fighter can, but we'll be go well. We'll go over them anyways as well. So Super Smash Bros has a lot of franchises as well. Well, Sonic, Doctor Eggman, a crazed scientist, goes to another planet called Mor- Mobius around after around the time that humanity re- left Earth. He basically tried to mechanize the planet, and Sonic, one of the wildlife of the planet, basically rebel basically rebels and kills him. Them. Sonic also fights a lot of guards and stuff as well, but just using the basic of the, you know, Sonic franchise. Metal Gear Solid takes place during the Massive War as well. Well, Joker takes place during modern times as well. You know, here, Dragon Quest takes place around the same time as Fire Emblem. Uh, Street Fighter and, you know, and of course... Fatal Fury take place around the same time as Punch Out and Earthbound, as well. During like the night, during like the equivalent to the nineties. The and then we have Tekken, which Kazuya is from. Saw, well, uh, the problem with Saw is that Saw is practically from a fucking different timeline. Okay, he's practically from the di- on a different timeline. So, but you can definitely take, you know, you can even see his trail. He goes through a fucking portal. So, Kazuya. The fa- the series of Tekken happens as well around the same time as the around the same slightly before slightly uh, slightly after mo- around the modern times or as we call them, modern times as well. Then we have Mega Man. Mega Man takes place around the same time as custom robots and punishment and arms, where humanity starts bodily modifying themselves as well. So 
Bayonetta takes place in like the you know Middle Ages and stuff. The problem with Bayonetta is Bayonetta is literally like a god, so uh yeah, that's this is already getting more crazier as well, with Queen Smash Bros. as well. And of course, Simon and Rector take place during medieval times as well. Similar to Fire Emblem. So, there you go. And no, we're not talking about like assist trophies and stuff as well. Also, I got the point, you know, account for Rayman, Bowerman, and all these other gaming series as well. But we'll just be using Nintendo series as well. Well, so basically at the very, very, very end of the timeline, there was a war for the universe as well. And all these spiders are miraculously revived somehow from the dead as well. And also it's confirmed there are spirits in Smash Bros. So, considering the spirits in Smash Bros, Taboo, Ga- Darkon, and Garion take those spirits and create trophies of them in order to revive the characters to fight them. This happens for far hundreds of years in an unspecified amount of time as well. And of course, the fighters remain victorious against Taboo and against Gawim and Darkon. And, ha- and now can live their lives in this interconnected world as well. And yeah, that's it about my fan made Nintendo timeline. Of course, it's probably complete bullcrap, anyways, as most of these series have their own war and their own timelines themselves. And yeah, this video was just basically made for fun, anyways. So, don't take it too seriously as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Panzer Kazooie. What time does Panzer Kazooie take place? That's a conundrum. And Minecraft. What does it say? My, what does it say Minecraft and it's from a different timeline because it's Minecraft. Minecraft world is basically so wards that it's wards in our own galaxy. And also, Panzer Kazooie. It takes place without a. Uh, it takes place where one Tilda takes twice to take control of a planet with. Sentient things where also Conquer takes place as well and Fever Pinata and humanity tried to take over that planet as well. Well, and that's it about this video here. Goodbye.